You are hearing the actual signals transmitted by the Earth-circling satellite. One of the great scientific feats of the age. Beer, Mabel, Black Label, Carling Black Label Beer. At the U.S. Fair in Moscow, the Nixon-Khrushchev debate in a model American kitchen attracts... Dodgers have roared back. Maybe it's that refreshing Pacific air they... Has your picture appeared in a New York newspaper within the last two weeks? Yes, it has. Do you think that all four of us would recognize you on sight? No, I don't. Do you deal in services? Yes, I do. Would a lady also avail herself of your services? Yes, they could. Would children? Yes, they would too. You make peanut butter sandwiches? <laughs> Yes, I do. <laughs> Two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Uh, do you have anything to do with government? Yes, I do. Would that be the governor of a state? Yes, it would. Is it, is it uh, uh, governor to be Pat Brown? hundred years from now, people will look back at the formation of the modern state of California, and in bold print at the front of any of those chapters will be Edmund G. Pat Brown. Pat Brown was the godfather of modern California. But to me, he was grandpa. He wore black socks to the beach. He took me body surfing in the ocean. And like all his grandchildren, I thought I was the favorite. As a little girl, I ran around his living room while he smoked cigars and listened while he talked shop with the grown-ups. Being with him was always an adventure. He would strike up conversations anywhere, at a gas station, in an elevator, even at a stoplight. He wanted to know everyone's life story, to pull them on the issues, and of course, to plug his ideas. I think the state of California is the greatest place in all God's earth, and we're making it better in every way. Growing up, Grandpa loved to debate with me. He expected all of us to be engaged. And there are still so many questions I wish I had asked before he passed away. My mom and I often discuss what Grandpa would think about the state of California. Raising two kids, I take these conversations even more seriously. In order to imagine how we can make a difference today, I've decided to look back at my grandfather's vision and legacy.